you seen this? Not yet, why? President's meeting, page 14. 14. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, this is a community newspaper about community issues. We should have at least made the front page. They mentioned your name when they asked you, did they? Uh, once or twice. Or which? Sorry? Well, did they mention it once, or did they mention it twice? Uh, once. You never guess what I got on the front page, though. What? Oh. The Vic. Oh, dear. <sighs> what are you doing? Having a clear out. You can't find anything these days. Are you going to come downstairs today? No, I want to get this lot sorted out first. Yeah, well, you can't hide up here forever, can you? I'm not. I'm busy. You haven't been behind the bar since the old Bill showed up. I've told you, I'm not hiding. Well, why didn't I ring up Marcus Christie and find out where we stand, eh? Oh, what's the point? You heard what they said. They're going to prosecute. So you're just going to give up? I don't have a say in the matter, do I? They're going to take away my licence and that's that. Right, well, I'll tell Tiffany not to bother opening up today, then, shall I? Suit yourself. Come on, Mum. Piggy's upstairs, if you want to. Yeah, how is she? Miserable. I've already been down in the bar at all. Listen, why don't you try and take her out for some lunch or something? See if you can cheer her up, yeah? It's a good idea. She won't go. Worth a try, isn't it? Go right ahead and ask. Did she say she's going to come down and help at all today? <sighs> she's on some deranged cleaning spree. It'll be all right, though, won't it? I mean, she won't really lose a licence. Who knows? Of course, you know what it means if she does. What's that? We're out on our ear. No licence. No pub. Hey, what's all this in here? Oh, no, love. Just having a clear out. Well, make yourself useful and pass those plates, would you? So, uh, how are you? Fine. Didn't know you were coming over. Oh, I'll paint a proposition. Lunch. Uh, how do you fancy it? Not today, sorry. Oh, come on. Let's get away for the day. Forget about everything else. This place, you mean? Well, that's what you want to forget about. Thanks, but I don't think so. So what are you going to do? Sit around here feeling sorry for yourself? Oh, don't you start as well. I'll just add Grant on at me. Because he's worried. This isn't like you. What happened to that tough old cookie I fell in love with? Tough old cookie? Oh, you know what I mean. All I'm saying is don't give up. It'll sort itself out. Oh, I'm going to wave a magic wand, are you? Maybe. George is special. I love you to bits. But not even you can work miracles. Hey, look at me, will you? Now, this isn't you. Pull yourself together, put it behind you, and go and stand behind that bar where you belong. Yeah, fine. Hey, you reading stuff at the residence meeting? Yeah, I should read it now. I thought it went really well. Oh, thank you. Especially when the old Bill come in and give Peggy Mitchell an earful. Yeah, well, I can't guarantee a police raid every meeting. Anyway, next on the agenda, set up a neighbourhood watch game so we can really stamp out the crime in this area. Hey, yeah, you know, because of that. Dot com. Yeah, and just imagine her neck curtains giving everyone the evil eye. Yeah, yeah she'd be great with her experience. Shame she's not around. Where is she? I don't know, Nigel said she'd gone all the way. Rochdale? That's what she said. She rang first thing. Why on earth would Doc Cotton want to go to Rochdale? She's staying with a friend. She sounds happy. Oh, well, that's a relief. Did you tell her we were all worried sick? Going to miss her. Yeah, well, she'll be back. Mm, I'm not so sure. Not for a while, anyway. Should have helped her out more when she was here. I hope you're not blaming yourself, Nigel. You were the one that brought her back. You put her up. You found work for her. You looked out for her. Nobody else around here gave a damn. In fact, most of them don't even know the meaning of the word friendship. So are you uh, taking her out for lunch then? Uh, no. I told you it wouldn't work. All well, right again, weren't you, Grant? <sighs> Are you ready to open up yet? Oh, hi. I saw you come in. Yeah, I just came back for some of these. What can I do for you? You know what today is, don't you? What's that? The day you're supposed to be out, we gave you notice. We didn't receive anything wrong. Oh, that's no fair. I thought we had an understanding. Look, well, I'm kind of in a hurry, understand? It's really annoying when somebody doesn't know when to leave, isn't it? Yes, sir. Look, why are you doing this to us? Doing what? Making me and Mark's life a misery. But we need somewhere to live, same as you. I mean, it's not personal. Oh, look, this is our house. But you've got somewhere to live. You've got a nice cosy room back at Mark's mum's. We need you out. And we need more time. Please. This is really important to us. I ain't kidding, right? There's only a little puppy all over the office floor, mate. Right? Piles in it. You're right. Oh, yeah. What a drink? A uh, bottle of lard. Just had Ruth come round earlier. Oh, what does she want this time? Oh, same as usual, gets her. That's harassment, that is. We want to get a restraining order against her. Hey, listen, I've been thinking, uh, maybe we need a backup plan. 
I'm going to ring a few people, see if there are any rooms available nearby. We're not leaving, just in case. I'll ring a few people. What's the matter with him? Uh, landlord problems, they want to kick us out. Yeah? How desperate is it? Don't know, it could be quite serious. Well, if you're really stuck, I've got a spare room. Seriously? Yeah, I just moved it to a two-bed flat. It's nothing much, just a single room, but the extra cash should come in handy. And the offer's there if you want it. When's it available? Whenever you want. I'll take it. What about Lenny? Ah, he's fine. He's sorting something out for himself. Oh, maybe. Where's he off to? What's going on? Sorry, mate. I'm moving out. Barry offered me a place at his. Seems stupid not to. And you're just going? Yeah. I mean, it's like you said, we can't hold on to this place forever, can we? You know, they're going to check us out eventually. I thought we were going to stick it out till the end. And something came up, didn't it? Oh, come off it, mate. You'd have done the same. No. No, I wouldn't. Of course you would have. Sorry. Hey, thought I'd find you up here. Oh, just washing up. Are yeah, you coming downstairs tonight? Oh, yeah, you try and stop me. I'm proud of you. Don't be dark. I mean it. I know much this business with a license shook you up. It's just one thing after another these days. But you didn't give up. Nearly did. But you didn't. That's the main thing. I'll see you down there. George. Thanks. How's it going? Uh, well, fine. You? Not bad. Look, I just want to say about the other day, uh... I was out of order. It's forgotten. I just thought they got off line to consider it. They're gone. No, that's the most important thing, I know that. Yeah, and it won't come back on Peggy. I suppose you do have your uses after all. I'll do a deal with you, Grant. If they show their faces around here again, we'll do it your way. I'll even lend a hand. You make you sound a can't handle myself. Well, there are quite a few of them. You're not getting any younger. They're 35 now, aren't you? Made me prime. The friends. You all right, Ricky? All right. Fancy a pint? Yeah, I'd love one. A uh, bottle and a pint, please, Grant. Come on. So, where's the little lady tonight? Oh, she's at home. She's doing me head in. Talking about mortgages and house prices. So I thought I'd sneak out for a quick pint. Which is well within your marital rights, mate. <laughs> what are you up to on Sunday? Ah, yeah, something. Shame. Well, what's going on? I was going down the speedway, wondered if you'd like to come, but hey. I've got to spend a day with the little missus. No, well, I don't have to. I mean, no, not if you're going to Speedway. Don't kid yourself, mate. She'd never let you come. What's well, up to me, innit? No, I'll tell you what, I'll come and count me in. 